Okay, Benny, what happens when you're in a relationship? It's the beginning, the sex is good, you're connected. Oh, I've been there, yeah. It falls apart, oh, the yeah. sex gets bad, then you break up. No, then the sex becomes non-existent, so you're not having, you go from bad sex to no sex. Now you're single. How do you get back in the saddle again? First of all, we have to consider partner sex is not the end-all, be-all of sex. No. If you are continuing to be sexual with yourself, you're sexual right straight on through all of these relationships. Well, I, you always say that masturbation is your constant companion. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's the sex you have After when you're a child. After all said and, and done, yes, all these relationships come and go. The sex you have with yourself is the constant. So let them come, let them go, remain sexual with yourself, and it's not such a big deal, is it? No, if you're having an orgasm... That's the healing. You're sexual. So what does she say? How do you get back? Well, I guess she, she feels like there's a little bit of mind fuck going on because of the negative relationship and not being able to connect with someone. So how can she open herself up to partner sex again and not feel a oh. little weird? Well, you know, go ahead and feel weird, but you have to, you know, make the first step, whatever Get back is. in the saddle. That's what they say. <laughs> you fall off the horse, get, you know. Dive off the board, get back in the pool, whatever. And maybe find someone that it's not a relationship, there's no agenda. Find a fuck friend. How about, uh, yeah, just sexual friend. Yeah. That We used to call them sex friends, sexual friends, and you call them booty, booty, booty calls. Booty calls, or you used to call them fuck buddies, too. Fuck buddies. I like fu a fuck buddy. Someone that you can just, mm -hmm. it's, it's, you're not so emotionally involved. And you're not on a date sitting across each other, eating food, talking about where you went to school. Planning on, <laughs> planning on how you're going to live together with this person the rest of your life. and the, Just, yeah. it's, it's in the moment. It's based on pleasure. Yeah. And it's like having a friend with, a, like, with benefits, like they say. That's, and now with, you know, all kinds of online sites, you can really do that. Yeah, she might want to do a little messing around with the online online and and do a, what do they call it? Well, there's like cyber sex. Cyber sex. That's not a bad idea. Doing some webcam stuff. I think you have to find something like a fantasy image. I think maybe she's talking about that when you've had this kind of negative experience, you don't feel sexual. You don't feel aroused. You don't feel exciting. She, she, well, she will if she has sex with herself. That's you got to go back home. Here inside yourself, you got to give yourself some nice orgasms. Take a night off, so your night only. Uh, make a date with yourself. Put it in the calendar. Treat yourself as you would treat a lover. I love how you used to do that. We were going through some of Betty's art. She had all these Valentines that she had done for yourself. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, how lovely. You know, we yeah. always wait for someone yeah. to buy us a gift or give us a Valentine or give us an orgasm. No, I'd have this beautiful cunt heart. On yeah. the front of the, and then it's a happy Valentine's Day, Betty. Your pussy is the best. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't love ourselves, how is anyone else going to love us? It's very basic. It's very simple. It's so grounding to know that you come first, I come first. If I, if I can't take care of me, he can't or she can't. No one can. Exactly. And so... You have to check the dependency level when you start dating somebody. Is it fun? Is it lighthearted? Or is this so, like, oh, God, I can't live without him? Uh-uh. You know, this whole thing, and I keep repeating this for myself, the point of power is in the present moment. Yeah. Don't look back. Don't look forward. Stay in the moment. Stay. I tell myself that all the time because that's always your advice to me. Your point of power is in the, is present. In the present moment. Well, you said to me one time, and I've never, ever, I mean, you said, is anyone trying to kill you? Yeah, exactly. Is anyone trying to kill you? Not that I know of. <laughs> so then you said it's not a problem. It's not a problem. And I feel like as women, sometimes we're so focused on the future. Projecting, projecting. And we project all these things that we yeah. want, and yeah. we have to be things at certain ages and have certain things. And, and then, at this age, I should have had so much invested, and I should have a house, and I should have a No, no. no. It just be in the moment. Stay in the moment where you are is perfect. It's really perfect. Whatever you're going through, it's the lesson that needs to be learned. It's perfect. So, darling, whoever sent the question in, take an evening off. Have an evening with yourself. Have a fabulous, huge orgasm. 
and then go have a date if you're in the mood.